Today we are going to study on the topic of aromaticity. First, let us take this compound cyclohexene. If I add bromine to this, what I get is dipromo compound. Okay, let us go for another compound like this diene if I add bromine depending on the condition I will get two products like this or like this so this is thermodynamic product, this is kinetic product. At high temperature, we will get this. I go for triene and I add bromine to this. The product, what I expect is like this, a dibromide. But this product will not be formed. Instead of that, I get bromobenzene. The first two examples, two bromine atoms are introduced into a molecule. But in the case of benzene, we get only one bromine atom. What is the reason? There is some property in benzene which doesn't prefer the regular reaction pathway. What is that property? It is nothing but aromatic character for benzene ring. This aromaticity can be explained based on Uckel's rule. A molecule is aromatic if it is cyclic, planar, there is extended conjugation, the last one the number of electrons involved in extended conjugation is 4n plus 2. If all these four are fulfilled, satisfied, then that compound is aromatic. A compound is anti-aromatic if it is cyclic planar there is extended conjugation and the number of electrons involved in extended conjugation is multiples of 4 then it is anti-aromatic so the difference between aromatic and anti-aromatic is only the number of electrons in anti-aromatic it is 4n number of electrons in aromatic compounds it is 4n plus 2 number of electrons where n may be 0 1 2 goes like that there is another type of compound that is nothing but non-aromatic a compound is said to be non-aromatic if any of the following three condition is not satisfied. That is, the molecule, if the molecule is not cyclic, then that is non-aromatic. If it is not planar, then also we say they are non-aromatic. 
if there is no extended conjugation then also it is non aromatic so first try to find out whether it is aromatic or anti aromatic if it doesn't fit into this two category then you can say they are non aromatic here it should not be cyclic should not be planar should not be there should not be extended conjugation even if one condition is not matching then immediately you can say it is non aromatic i make it into a table now we are going to discuss on the stability of aromatic compounds aromatic compounds they are highly stable after that we have non aromatic compounds then anti aromatic this is energy increases like this aromatic compounds have less energy and more stable anti aromatic compounds they have high energy and they are less stable this one it is very important because this decides the chemical property physical property of a compound an aromatic compound since it is more stable it may not prefer to become anti aromatic or non aromatic which have higher energy and less stability on the other hand anti aromatic compounds and non aromatic compounds they try to become aromatic compounds if there is any possibility for the anti aromatic compound or non aromatic compound to become aromatic then that reaction will be very facile the reason is the stability of aromatic compound is very high so it prefers to be in the most stable form now let us try to understand the four criteria that has to be fulfilled for a molecule to be aromatic the first one the molecule should be cyclic generally the compound whatever they give in the problem will be cyclic they don't compare a triene like this and benzene so this cyclic easily you can identify so there won't be much difficulty what about this compound styrene here you have to consider only the cyclic portion the number of electrons it is 4n there are totally 8 electrons but when go for aromaticity you have to consider only the cyclic part if the compound is something like this if your bond is formed between this and this you may get this i don't know whether this compound exists or not whether it is available or not but now the whole system it is cyclic you have to consider this double bond also so the number of electrons it is same but this compound this cyclic portion it is aromatic this one it is anti aromatic
because in this we didn't consider this double bond since it was in side chain in this case it is in the ring so we have to consider this the second criteria it is planarity to understand this i go for the structure of benzene So this is benzene. All the pi orbitals are overlap like this. Because of this overlapping, it becomes more stable. The overlapping of this p orbital is possible only if all the carbons were in the same plane. if the planarity is missing then this kind of overlapping is not possible it is not compulsory that all the carbon should be in the same plane sometimes all the carbons may not be in the same plane but they will be planar enough to overlap with the neighboring carbon p orbital this overlapping of p orbital gives extra stability to the system that extra stability is known as resonance energy how to find out whether a molecule is planar or not it is very simple try to follow this up to seven membered ring the compounds they are planar it may be a system like this or like this up to seven member ring there is no question about planarity whether it is planar or not without What thinking about planarity in you can annulate consider them as planar when you go for eight member the polyenes basically they are cyclic polyenes let us consider this molecule cyclo octa tetrahedron the number of electrons in this is 4a so it should be anti aromatic provided if it is a planar molecule if the planarity is not there then this molecule will become non aromatic you may know that non aromatic compound is more stable than anti aromatic compound for this reason this molecule doesn't exist in a plane so it prefer to exist like this a tub shape now we can see here the pi orbitals cannot overlap effectively the distance between this and this it increases so the bonding interaction will be very less they cannot overlap on the other hand if i add two electrons to this
what I get is a molecule like this. Now it is for n plus 2 system. The number of electrons it is 10. So this should be aromatic provided if this molecule is planar. So this particular system becomes planar when you add two electron because it is aromatic. For the same reason 12 annulin 16 annulins in which the number of pi electrons are multiples of 4 they are non-planar and there is no question about anti-aromaticity it cannot be anti-aromatic so 12 annulin and 16 annulin even 8 annulin they are non-aromatic they can twist themselves to become non-planar on the other hand when you add two electron or when you remove two electron from that the same system becomes planar and it attains aromaticity here I go for a system like this the number of carbon the number of pi electron it is 8 so it is 8 electron system since it is bicyclic compound it is not it cannot freely rotate and it cannot change its structure so it becomes planar it is cyclic it is planar the number of electron involved in the delocalization it is multiples of 4 so this compound it is anti-aromatic this compound name is pentaline if you add two electrons to this then that will become aromatic That's why if you add base to this, this proton as well as this proton will be removed easily to form this aromatic compound this one it is non aromatic because there is no extended conjugation but this is aromatic the number of pi electrons it is 10 so this becomes aromatic so these two hydrogens are highly acidic now let us go to the system which has 10 pi electron the most common system is naphthalene. It is polyaromatic hydrocarbon. There are two six member ring. If I break this bond, then what we get? Consider like this. In this, this olefins, they are Z olefin and these two olefins are E olefin. When you look at this molecule, it looks like it is a planar molecule 
but in actual it is not planar molecule the reason is this hydrogen and this hydrogen they are very close because of that there will be repulsion steric repulsion between the two hydrogen atom and the planarity is lost because of that reason it is not planar so it is non aromatic if i connect this by a methylene group like this then what will happen this compound is aromatic is it possible for this molecule to be a plane all these 10 carbon atoms should lie in the same plane it is not possible they are not in the same plane but they are planar enough to undergo efficient overlapping of pi orbital so it is not compulsory that all the carbon atoms in should be exactly in the same plane if there is planarity sufficient enough for pi orbital overlapping that's okay that is available in this so this behaves like aromatic compound instead of this methylene i can introduce oxygen atom also or sulfur nh n or ph so it goes like that basically this kind of compounds even though it is not exactly planar they are arom aromatic another well known system is azulene the number of electrons in this it is 4n plus 2 10 electrons are there and it is cyclic it is planar there is exponent conjugation so it is aromatic this can be easily explained based on this structure If you see this you can find trophilium cation and cyclopentadienyl anion both are aromatic in nature so this has high dipole moment the reason is we have charges plus and minus because of this polarization this ring becomes cyclopentadienyl anion which is aromatic and this ring becomes trophilium cation which is again aromatic that is the reason why this azulene exists in ionic form it has high dipole moment it may be soluble in water to some extent whereas naphthalene is completely insoluble but this azulene it is soluble in water to some extent i can go for another resonance structure also it may be very clear so this one is trophilium cation and this part it is cyclopentadienyl anion i have another interesting system it is like this
something like this. Is this molecule aromatic or not? First of all, this carbon, it is sp3 carbon. So it should be tetrahedral in shape. In such case, will it be aromatic? So it is cyclic, but planarity is not there because of this tetrahedral carbon. What about the number of pi electrons? There are 10 pi electrons. So it is satisfying Huckel's rule of 4n plus 2 number of electrons. Even though there is no planarity, the planarity is sufficient for pi overlapping. So this behaves as aromatic compound. When you add a base to this, then what happens is the base abstracts this proton to generate carbanion and what we get is this carbanion. Now this carbon becomes planar. So this is more planar compared to this. But what about the number of electrons? The number of electrons present in this anion is 4n electron. So there are 12 electrons. So is it anti-aromatic? No, it is not anti-aromatic. Only these peripheral pi electrons involved in overlapping. This one will not participate in overlapping, so it will remain as such. So only these 10 electrons involved in pi orbital overlapping. So the electrons, number of electrons involved will be 4n plus 2, that is 10 electrons. And it is more aromatic compared to this because it is more planar than this. I go for higher annulin. So it is 14 annulin. The number of pi electrons will be 4n plus 2, 12 plus 2. Even though the ring size is very big, in order to attain play, attain aromaticity, this molecule will, will be in a plane. So basically it is planar molecule. Not only 14 annulin, even 18 annulin, it will be planar. Another interesting compound will be this one. It is modification of that compound, earlier compound. These hydrogens has been connected by a carbon. Now, what about the planarity? This carbon, it is sp3. So it should not be in a plane. But it is planar enough to have pi orbital overlapping and it becomes aromatic. Another interesting example is this compound. Instead of this 2 methyl group, I have double bond. What about this? The number of electrons, the number of pi electrons, if you count, it will be 16. Is it anti-aromatic? No. If the benzene rings are there, then you should not count like this. These compounds will come under polyaromatic hydrocarbons. So, naphthalene, chrysaline. So all these compounds will 
come under polyaromatic hydrocarbons. Even though the number of pi electrons present in that it is 16, it is not anti-aromatic. It is aromatic in nature. Look at the system. It is 16 anulin. 16 anulin. The number of electron it is multiple of 4. So it is expected to be anti-aromatic. But it is not planar. So it is non-aromatic compound. But when you add two electrons to this, this becomes planar and it becomes aromatic. The same way, if you remove two electrons from this, then also it, became, it becomes planar and aromatic. So the aromatic property, the aromaticity decides the structure of this molecule.